Welcome, this is Mr. Kennedy of Kennedy Teaching, and today we're going to talk about square numbers. What are they? How do we find them? So, what is a square number? Well, let's first off, let's get our words down here. And for all you taking notes at home, make sure you get it down. We're talking about square numbers. Yes, literally a square. How do we find square numbers? Well, a square number is very simple. It's a, t it's a number that when you make an array, let's use, we'll use arrays for example, we're gonna use arrays. It's a number when making an array that has the same number in the rows as it has columns. So the rows and columns are the same. And for an example, we're going to pick our nifty counters right here. I'm going to make an array that has three columns and three rows. Now you're probably wondering, why do you call it in a square? Why is it called that? Well, it's very simple. When I make it, you'll easily see. Right now, what you are looking at is a square array. Three rows, one, two, three, and three columns. And as we all should know through geometry, a square has the same so all sides are the exact same, and that's what you get here. This is a 3 by 3 array, which equals 9. 9 is our square number. 3 by 3 array equals 9. Let's look at another example. Let's go over here and let's make another array over here on the side. This time we're going to add one more to the row. What means that if I want it to be the same, I want it to be a square array, I have to add another to the column as well. So we're going to do a 4 by 4. And those of you at home watching it should be thinking 4 by 4. Remember the by, oftentimes in math, will mean multiply. So we're going to see a 4 by 4. Now right now if we look at it, this is a 3 by 4. That's not a square. It's a rectangle. But we add in that new row. Since so we added in a new column, we're also going to add in a new row. And now we can see the square that has formed. Or as close as possible as I can get it. So we have our new array. One two, three, four, with new columns, one, two, three, four. This gives us a four by four array, which we should know as 16. So, so far, we have found two square numbers, nine and 16. Both these are square numbers. Now, if 3 by 3 gave us 9, 4 by 4 gave us 16, I bet you you could probably now go at home and figure out what some other square arrays there are out there. Grab yourself some pennies or anything you have, or maybe just pencil and paper. You can draw your circles on it and see what arrays you can come up with. That does it for square numbers. It's a very simple concept to get to understand. We want arrays that have the same number of rows as they do columns. And that's our square numbers. Thank you. And join me next time as we learn how to unsquare numbers.